Okay, so this year for Christmas, Tyler got something a little unconventional, probably something that most kids wouldn't even have a clue what it is. So Tyler, what'd you get for Christmas? A throttle tube. Show it to us. Yeah, how exciting is that, right? Why did you need a throttle tube? Do you know why you needed the throttle tube? For hand grips. For hand grips, let's show him what we got. Okay, so what we did is we bought him some Pro Taper Pillow Tops, just like Liam has, and since Liam's running Team Blue, he's got the blue tips, and Tyler's on the CRF 110, so he's got the red tips. However, there's a little bit of a problem here. So for the CRF 110, the grips are really small on there. They're not designed to take conventional grips. And with the change in 2019, when they went to the fuel injection, my understanding is all the other conversions didn't work anymore. So I'll show you on here. So I found this throttle tube online. It was 20 bucks, I think 25 after shipping, but we wanted to make sure that he could get what he wanted. However, when I got this, I looked up, this is a conventional Motion Pro throttle tube. Uh, compatibility on here shows XLR650, 400, CRF230. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I paid like 20, 25 bucks for this. This is a $6 part. So then what I did is I ordered another one just to see what's going on here. And as it turns out, what's happening is the company I ordered this from, and I'll put the link in the description below because I forget the name right now, but they modified the throttle tube to let this fit. So what we're going to do today, well, I'm going to do, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm going to head to my dad's before the game. I don't know if they're coming because that's a long time for them to be out there. I am. You are coming? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to head out to the shop. Tyler's going to stay back. He's got some things he's going to do. You're going to go spend some money, aren't you? Yeah. So anyway, so I'm heading out to the shop to put this on today, but I'm also staying for Super Bowl, and that's a little much for him. So we're going to go ahead and load up, head out there. We'll be back at the shop, but in the meantime, go and hit that subscribe button, and we'll find out if we can show everybody how to modify your 110 to put full-size grips on too. Okay, so we're out in the shop, and for those of you who follow the channel, a couple quick updates here. Liam has a chip cupboard and dip. And I had quickly done a video on our favorite chip dip. And today's Super Bowl Sunday, so we've got pop and chip dip out here. Um, but I actually started the second channel called The Gadget Domain. I'll put a link to the original chip dip video below. Feel free to subscribe there if you want. I'm going to do more of my kind of gadgets, uh, electronic and tech as I come across products. And I'm going to keep that off this channel moving forward. So just quick FYI there. For the 110 today, we finally got our graphics on. And I think they look really good spruce up the bike and so for the kids the reason we went with 199 travis has never ran red or honda but the reason we put 199 on there is they love watching nitro circus and they kind of represent just having fun good time and once all the kids outgrow this it's staying forever and so we're going to mod it lift the suspension up and it'll be the family pit bike forever so kind of felt like that was fitting for a number that's going to last and then over on the 450 i was able to get my numbers on uh, 68 is a reference to my dad's old 68 Z28 Camaro. So I think that looked really well. I wanted graphics on there that just didn't stand out too much. So I think those blend really well. So yeah, just a couple of things going on. Okay, so back to the video. Here is the throttle tube we bought. You can see the groove right here. And this is the standard one. And so I think what we got going on here is that we are grinding a groove so that can fit. And so what I did to kind of prep this, so I got the rotary tool and took one of those stone bits. What I did is I took a spare one, which I broke in the pliers. But with this running, I kind of just ground it down until it was just nice and smooth and would fit in between that gap. So you see how good we're fitting in there. So this is what you got to do is you need to find something with a nice little curve to it to fit inside here. And uh, there's a kind of a reference on my thumb. So we're not looking too wide. And so if we look at the new one, what you're doing is you're essentially leaving room in between so that the throttle cable can run in there. So now at this point, we're gonna have somebody hold this in film and I'm gonna see if I can't work this through to match the other one. So I'll get some safety goggles on here for everybody and we'll see if we can make it work. Okay, so I'll show you right here real quick. It's working, but it's not. Besides the fact I really don't have the best steady hands, um, what the stone's doing is melting the plastic instead of getting the plastic out of there. So I'm gonna switch to a bit or something to try to get the plastic to actually leave.
Okay, so I actually think I got it pretty good. I put this screwdriver in here, which helped hold it really well. And if you look at the groove I made and the groove I bought, they actually look really similar. And at the end of the day, I like the bit. Um, the hardest part is getting a track to follow, but once you got a track to follow, using the bit seemed to work really well. Okay, so now we got to get the original throttle tube and grip off. Now, a lot of times I'll actually cut grips off when I'm doing them, but with this one, I want to save this just in case we have any errors, I can at least put the bike back together. Okay, so quick update, we got this in, and I spent a lot of time on here, completely was screwing it up, and long and short of it was, when I adjusted the throttle from when we brought it home, I had tightened it, because there was a ton of play. If you look at the one you get in the factory one, it's gonna be too hard to tell, but on the factory one, the cables sit further apart. On the replacement Motion Pro, they sit closer, so when I had them tight, it was binding the throttle and it wouldn't spin. So I was sitting over here forever. I could not figure out what I was doing wrong. And so I just sat on the couch watching the game and I eventually realized, oh, the cables need more room. And so I was, that other cable, if you saw, or that other throttle tube, you saw how dirty it looked, I was grinding it, trying to free up more play. That was the one that came with it. Um, so at the end of the day, we're using the one that I did. And if you look in here, sitting in there just fine. Well, I took it apart real quick here, but anyway, it ground out real nice. So from here now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tightened back up, adjust the play, and then we'll swap the grips out. A lot easier, feeling a lot better, so that's just it. So in the description below, I'll put the link for just the Motion Pro before it's modified. Grind out a groove, loosen up your cables almost all the way to let it in, and then hey, you got a full-size throttle tube. Okay, so it's all put together. Um, on the throttle tube I was gonna show, I actually loosened it up almost all the way, but we don't have excess of play. It's biting right there. Okay, so we got that part on there. You got a little bit more play this way now with this piece in here, but it's held in there snug, so I'm not worried about that. And then when I was coming over here and I was sanding off the other glue, I slipped and went a too far deep with the sandpaper, but we'll either spray it someday or something I'm not too worried honestly with how big um, Tyler is going to be going to this year I'd almost do a full-size handlebar but the problem is once he's done with this bike then uh, Jack's my youngest when he comes off the 50 he'll be on here and so since we've got another kid to go through I don't want to put oversized bars on it till everybody's done and it's become officially the family pit bike so uh, now at this point, I think this thing's really good to go. I think having that extra room on here will make it fun for anybody who rides it, a little bit more comfortable. And now, and he's got the same grips now that everybody else does. So, you know, honestly, now that we've got the tires on here, we've got the grips, we've got the numbers, I'd love to do an exhaust, but I'm just not jumping at it right now because 
for the money, I believe this thing's running about seven and a half horsepower. For, so if an exhaust jumps me up to eight or so, I just don't know that the price is worth it. Yoshimir has a pipe out there for it. And I wanna tell you now that's $500. So that's, that's a little much. So I think this bike from here is just good to go. It is what it is until we uh, take it all the way. So, all right, I hope this video was informative for you guys. Now everybody knows for about six, seven bucks what it'll take for you to modify a throttle tube and you can put full size grips on and enjoy your pit bike. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and thanks for checking this out with us. Until next time.